Welcome to this short presentation on the NCSE Certified Cyber Incident Planning and Response Course. To begin with, let me introduce Cyber Management Alliance. Founded in 2015 and headquartered in London. We are market leaders in cyber incident response, education, and consulting. Our clients include numerous governments, financial, retail, healthcare, educational institutions and much more. In fact, we have trained and supported over 750 organizations from across the world. Cyber Management Alliance has three courses certified by the UK government's National Cyber Security Centre. These include NCSC Certified Cyber Security and Privacy Essentials, NCSC Certified Cyber Incident Planning and Response and the NCSC Certified Building and Optimizing Incident Response Playbooks. The NCSC certifies courses which are high quality, relevant and that are consistent with industry best practices. The course content, the instructor skills and knowledge, as well as the course administration is all assessed against the existing standards of APMG International and the National Cyber Security Center. The course is also accredited and certified by the Chartered Institute of Information Security, based in the UK. Members of the Chartered Institute of Information Security, as well as members from ISC Squared and members of ISACA can all claim up to 8 CP points for a one-day public course and up to 15 CP points for a two-day internal workshop. The Cyber Incident Planning and Response course contains a total of 17 modules. In the first module, Cyber Resiliency, students will be able to discuss what cyber resiliency means for modern digital business, as well as being able to list the four constituents of a cyber resilient organization. In the second module, Threat Actors and Privileged Users, students will be able to describe how knowing your threat actors can help in risk identification and risk management, as well as being able to articulate the different forms of the threat to and vulnerabilities of information systems and assets. In Module 3, we look at defining normal. Students will be able to describe the importance of defining normal and explain its role in significantly improving accuracy of attack detection capabilities. Students will also learn how to improve and create fit-for-purpose cyber and IT-related policies as well as being able to explain the challenges with implementing the defining normal methodology. Module 4 is split into four parts. Module 4A, the attack process. In this module, students will be able to list the two attack frameworks that attackers use as the baseline of their attack strategies. Students will also be able to explain how you can use these frameworks to help identify an organization's readiness in dealing with specific cyber attacks. Students should also be able to explain and discuss the primary objective of cyber attackers after they enter a digital network. Furthermore, you will be able to discuss the importance of this goal. In Module 4B, we look at tools and techniques. Students will be able to name some of the tools and describe the purpose of these tools, describe how specific tools fit into the attack methodology, as well as understanding the importance of and the impact hacking tools can have, if used without supervision. Students should also understand and explain the importance of upskilling staff in the use of such tools and the benefit of using these tools for protection. In Module 4C, we start looking at case studies. Students should be able to explain the importance of cyber resilience and the need for rapid detection and rapid response by referring to key events from the various case studies. You will learn how to apply the knowledge and lessons learned from real-world attacks to your own organization. Module 4D We look at threat intelligence. Students will understand the importance of scenarios in cyber resilience as well as being able to discuss how threat intelligence helps in early and more accurate detection. Module 5 We look at visibility. Students will be able to explain the importance of focusing on visibility in your cyber resilient and risk management strategy. Students will also have a good grasp of the core concepts and terminology of log management in relation to visibility. Module 6 is also split into four separate parts. In Module 6A we look at the Golden Hour and Instant Management. Students will be able to understand and discuss the concept of the Golden Hour and explain its significance in cyber incident management. 
students will also be able to explain the importance of the golden hour and what actions and organizations should take in this time frame, and they will also understand the importance and key benefits of accurate triage. Module 6 B students will be able to describe the various stages and categories of incident response, and also the key activities associated with each phase. Module 6 C We move on to incident response playbooks. Students here will be able to explain the role playbooks play in incident response and also describe the benefits of having structured response playbooks, as well as listing the four key phases a playbook must cover. Module 6 D Creating an Instant Response Plan. In this section, students will be able to discuss the importance of understanding and following incident management procedures as well as learning the key components of an incident response plan. Module 7 is about building the team. Students will be able to describe and explain the key attributes of a cybersecurity incident response team member. Module 8. Forensics and Investigations. Here the students will learn and understand the basic concepts of forensics integrity and in module 9 we look at regulations and standards and students will be able to understand and explain the primary requirement of privacy regulations like the EU's GDPR in the context of cyber incident response and cyber resilience. In module 10 we will discuss the technology stack. Students will recognize the key role technology plays in effective incident response. And finally, Module 11 Communications and PR in Incident Management. Here the students will be able to recognize the need for effective internal and external communication. They will also be able to discuss the importance of accurate but rapid communication with stakeholders. The courseware includes several documents, as well as the 170-page coursebook. Students also receive several process workflows, mind maps, and communication templates. The course book also includes practice exam questions. Following the successful completion of the training course, whether that be an internal course, a public instructor-led live virtual classroom or self-paced e-learning, all students have the option of becoming certified in cyber incident planning and response by successfully passing the APMG International Examination of the NCSC Certified Training. The exam is administered by APMG International and invigilated online by ProctorU. The online exam contains 30 questions and students have 25 minutes to complete the examination. Students must answer 50% that's 15 questions correctly in order to attain a pass mark. The certificate of exam pass is issued by APMG. Exam vouchers last up to six months after the course is completed. For students who successfully pass the exams, you're legible to download a digital badge. The badges are a secure digital representations of your professional development credentials, and our badges are issued by your acclaim, the world's most trusted digital credential network for professional associations and corporate learning. There are several benefits for running an internal private workshop. During an internal private workshop, we can focus in on your organization's specific exercises and context. We'll be able to define threat actors and help you create and understand threat actor libraries that are specific to your organization as well as helping you to define what is a normal baseline for your organizations. We can help you define and improve alerts for your analysts and we can look at organizations' specific attack scenarios. We can also provide a high-level review of your incident response breach preparedness. There are also several benefits to attending the course individually, either in a live virtual instructor-led classroom or on our e-learning portal. So as an individual you can become certified in cyber incident planning and response and, again you can display your digital badge on your CV and LinkedIn profile, you'll be able to define and support the implementation of processes and procedures for your organization in terms of detecting breaches of security policies. In addition to that, you'll be able to understand the core principles of and actively contribute to the creation of your organization's cybersecurity strategy. You will also be able to define and implement processes and procedures for detecting breaches of security policies. 
We hope that after completing the course you'll understand and explain the primary requirement of privacy regulations and be able to discuss and support the development of innovative methods of protecting information assets for your organization and of course, you should be able to discuss and support the development, coordination and evaluation of plans to communicate with internal stakeholders, external stakeholders, regulators and the media. The NCSC Certified Building and Optimizing Incident Response Playbooks Course this course teaches you how to create NIST CSF compatible incident response playbooks to help respond to a variety of simple and complex cyber attacks and data breaches. This particular course contains 12 modules, and through these modules, course attendees will learn the basic building blocks and key components of an effective playbook that meets NIST's incident response guidance. You'll also learn how to create basic to complex playbooks, pitfalls to avoid when creating these playbooks, how to use playbooks to meet compliance requirements such as GDPR and ISO 27001. Learn how to use playbooks to aid triage. In Module 6, we look at the relevance of triggers in playbooks. And then in Module 7 we're understanding who can take which decisions in a crisis. In the Automation module, we'll look at the structure approach to automation before, during and after an attack. And in creating scenarios, we look at how to plan and create cyber attack scenarios. In Module 10, we talk about testing your playbooks, the basics of testing playbooks for efficacy. Module 11 looks at technological solutions and the importance and the role of technology in playbooks. Then finally in Module 12, we look at creating playbooks. How to actually design and create playbooks. Also, we look at how you can use threat intelligence to create a playbook and examine its components. There are several benefits to attending the Building and Optimizing Incident Response Playbooks course. You'll learn how to create basic and advanced cyber incident response playbooks. You will also learn how to analyze, improve and optimize existing incident response procedures. You'll be able to create effective attack scenarios with supporting response playbooks. You may have to run effective cyber incident response workshops to support continuous improvement in cyber resilience processes and procedures, but also learn about the vital role technologies such as SOAR play in incident response. All in all, this course will help you to significantly improve your organization's speed of response to cyber attack, help you to achieve better legal and regulatory compliance and also when holding an internal session, we can conduct a consultative review of your existing response processes, procedures and playbooks. The CEO of Cyber Management Alliance, Amar Singh, is a recognized thought leader and is the course creator, as well as NCSC certified trainer for both of these courses. Amar is a very experienced practitioner, having held several CISO positions in organizations including News International, SAB Miller and many, many more. Both of the courses are available as internal private workshops. Also, both courses are available as live virtual classrooms, which can be public training or private. In addition to those two options, both courses are available on our e-learning platform where students can get immediate access to both the courses and run through the programs at their own desired pace. There are over 1,000 written and video testimonials available on our website. These can be searched by sector and type. We have testimonials from several governments, banking, finance, insurance, and retail industry professionals as well as many other sectors. And testimonials come from all over the world including Singapore, Philippines, India, United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia, Switzerland, Denmark, the United Kingdom and the United States of America. In terms of costs, there are several options. You may decide to host an internal training course for up to 10 attendees is two and a half thousand pounds or 3,000 US dollars. You can also host a two-day workshop to include the Cyber Incident Planning and Response course as well as the Building and Optimizing Incident Response Playbooks course for up to 20 attendees at four and a half thousand pounds. Alternatively, you could take advantage of our buy one get one free offer. Whereas if you buy either the e-learning or live virtual instructor-led classroom version of the NCSC Certified Cyber Incident Planning and Response course, you will receive free access to the NCSC Certified Building and Optimizing Incident Response Playbooks e-learning course. Both come with an option to include an exam voucher.
If you would like to discuss any of the options further, or maybe you would like us to create and forward a quotation in order to raise a purchase order, or if you have any other question, please do not hesitate to get in touch, we will be more than happy to assist.